What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. We're just chilling, you know, no rush here. When, I'm at, when you're at the range, even if you know the people or you know, you're a member, you always feel a little bit rushed. Here, it's just nothing. You know, I don't have a speed loader. I don't have bar barely anything and I'm just chilling, just making do with what I have. I have no targets, I'm making stuff, I'm finding stuff, looking around for stuff, just knocking over wood. And of course, respect your ranges and clean up after yourself. At the end, I will send a video or show you guys a video that I'm cleaning up, being respectful, clean up some more garbage. Because when your state or city gives you free ranges like this, you should never take advantage of it and just leave your crap. Trust me. That's about as disrespectful as it gets. And we're all about respect over here. We're also all about safety. Always glasses. Doesn't matter what it is. Always some form of ear protection. We do this to train and get better and protect ourselves and our family. And, you know, losing your vision or your hearing does none of that. None of that is helpful. So always safe i nailed that uh oh shoot got it i nailed that 100 yard shot that felt good i, I think i did third uh third shot we're gonna be shooting the sig now but before we do that let's go walk and uh set up some targets you just don't feel rushed out here it just feels free it just feels nice and i'm not very organized right now so just you know just just help me out just understand a little bit so this is what i got to work with Got some stuff laying around, you know, it's pretty cool. Look, set that up. Make do with what you got, you know what I mean? You can even take this. Metal right here. Stand that up. There we go. Got a little thing right there. Also, just give it some, a little effect. It'll fall if I miss, but let's still try and hang some stuff. I don't know, set stuff there, whatever. Doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? What can we do? Maybe I'll just save that one. So it looks like we got this little post right here, but I don't have anything to hit it in with. I'm sure I could grab a rock, but the shot that I made earlier is right there. So we're gonna keep shooting that thing. Uh, we're gonna shoot, you know, see, can we, can we hit a 100 yard shot with a SIG P365X? And I, I'm not used to the SIG yet, 600 rounds or so. First shots of the day with it. You know, we're gonna shoot up close. Just get get a good idea where I'm shooting at, how I'm shooting today, and then uh, we'll go from there. Let's go. Let's go. Eh, not the greatest. But I sort of just, you know, I felt the need to just mag dump that unload, but let's go. We're going to make that 100 yard shot. We're going to take our time. We're going to get precise with this. We're going to do it. Let's go. But yeah, the SIG, is, the SIG runs good. The one problem I'll say about the SIG is I don't like the rail because when you put your thumb there, you have like, it slides because of that little indent where the Hellcat has that little memory pad where you can actually fight the recoil with it. So I don't know if you can see it in the video. My grip was slipping a little bit, but, uh. Yeah, let's actually take our time with it. And, and you know, this is the, honestly, this is my favorite thing about shooting. Just being able to come to a place like this, you know, and just chill, do your own thing. You don't have people right next to you shooting, even though that is good. Um, indoor ranges are good because they're helping a little confusion. There's a little, you know, a lot going on and you're still trying to aim and practice, which could benefit you in the future in a self-defense encounter or whatever. But dang, I hate SIG mags. These things are hard to load, guys. Especially when you got wrist like mine i can't even get that 12th round in there there we go let's check this out let's try and get that 100 yard shot i might not get it with the sig but let's try here we go Also look back at that footage we may have got it the way i have it propped up let's go see if there's any new holes on it let's go check that out real quick i have it propped up so like before when i hit it it fell they had it on there a little different i'm not making excuses i think i the first three or four shots i shot a little um a little low and left then the next one i think a little went you know a little far and right and then i think i may have been hitting i don't know i gotta gotta review the footage but that's why we're out here to get better but anyways yeah if you guys you know sometimes it's worth the drive you know 
to, to go to a place like this, to experience a place like this. It's just nice to be outside, relax, do our own thing. Next, we're gonna test some hollows to the Glock 26 when we get back. Um, actually, you know what? I did, I got it. You can already see I got it, let's see. Looks like I got it one, two, three times. That's not for me, that's old. One, two, three times. I don't think I did any of that. Everything else were much larger and you can compare it with the other video. So three times out of 12 rounds, about 100 yards. There's no markings, but it is what it is. Uh, Glock 26, I think I got it on the third shot. Uh, but yeah, it's just fun being out here. It's just nice to be out here. It's nice and relaxing, you know. Uh, where I live, it's mostly indoor ranges. There's not a lot of land like this to just go do your own thing. So recommend take the drive. You know, it's you'll learn a lot when you're outside how much better it is to, to do your own thing. You realize how great it is to be able to live in a country where you can literally just drive down a county road, a dirt road, and just randomly on the side, there's a bench set up, clean up after yourself, and shoot. No one's bothering me. No one's pulling up on me. No one's saying, what are you doing out here? They just respect it. So still getting good with the P365X. Haven't shot it a lot. Obviously, it was with the gunsmith for a while, but we're getting there. Let's try the Glock 26.